Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you had told me earlier this week that my next news story was going to be about a new magazine related to game development, I would have laughed at you. It's just, frankly, dead tree print magazines are just sort of becoming a thing of the past, which is kind of a shame. I've always loved magazines. I used to actually subscribe to a ton of them because it made me enjoy getting my mail. You know, in these days and age, I get flyers and, you know, bills, and that's about it. So it used to be that, you know, picking up that monthly subscription to a magazine was just a good reason to go and check the mail. And magazines have been kind of not doing that well lately. Although in England or the UK, there's definitely more of a thriving magazine scene. And that's exactly where Wireframe comes in. Now, Wireframe isn't purely a game development magazine, but it's definitely aimed at game developers, as we are about to see. So what exactly is Wireframe? Well, first off, it is from Raspberry Pi. Yep, those people, the people that make the integrated circuit exploration kind of mini computer stuff, they're also making Wireframe magazine, as you can see right down here a new game magazine with a difference so what is wireframe all about well let's head on over to the blog and find out so here you can see this is the raspberry pi raspberry pi blog post on it and it says we are pleased to announce the wireframe a new three pound uh, so probably about six bucks i don't actually know how the pound is doing or the whole brexit thing going on but probably five to six bucks uh twice monthly magazine that lifts the lid on video games raspberry pi is all about making computers accessible to everyone and wireframe will show you how programming art music and design come together to create video games you love to play and how you can use these elements to create games yourself now it's probably not going to be a really hardcore focus in that but it's still really cool to see behind the scenes developer interviews that kind of stuff cutting through the hype wireframe will have more indie focused left field angle than traditional game magazines as well as news reviews and previews will also have in-depth features that uncover the stories behind your favorite games showing you how video games are made and who makes them on top of that we are also and this is part that got me excited we are also help you discover how you can make games of your own our dedicated toolbox section will be packed with detailed guides and tips to help you with your own game development projects so they're also going to be showcasing to a certain degree on tools. In some ways, they're going to be a magazine form of what I try to offer here uh, on Game From Scratch. And I think that's actually kind of pretty cool. Um, now, on top of that, so they're going to be shifting their first copy, uh, copy I can't speak as of yet, uh, coming up if you enroll now, the first 10,000 people can get it for free, asterisk. Now, I actually have subscribed. I'm going to get my copy uh, sometime soon, uh, before November the 8th. And... Um, it still cost me a little bit of money, but that's because this thing is shipping from England. I had to pay two pounds or $3.54 Canadian to have it shipped across the Atlantic, which is pretty reasonable. I'd definitely pay three bucks for a print magazine of this type. Now, obviously, if you are not overseas, if so if you're Europe-based, it is literally free, I believe, so the shipping isn't a factor. I'm not sure uh, 100% if you're going to get charged, but do be aware that free is free in terms of what you get, not free in terms of the shipping on top of that, but I, I think it's definitely worth it and then once it is actually out they're going to be looking at making this thing first off this is really cool it is free digital so we want everyone to enjoy wireframe and learn more about their favorite hobby so you'll be able to download a digital version of all the issues of wireframe for free get all the features guides and lively opinions of our first ever paper and ink edition as a handy pdf from their website on november the 8th so even if you do not want to sign up for that free copy this is going to be free online in pdf form anyway so there is reason for pretty much everyone to be excited about this one and i really kind of do you hope they that it does take off subscribers you can see their uh, introductory offer of 12 issues for 12 pounds uh, which I am almost certainly going to be going all about uh, on top of that it is available at WF so wireframe magazine uh, wfmag.cc and that will bring you here and uh, yeah I, I have to say hands down I'm actually kind of pretty excited about this so even if it's just a video game review magazine with a bit of a developer bias or interviews etc I'm still pretty stoked but if it actually starts getting into tools and, and algorithms and that kind of stuff I will be beyond blown away now I don't expect that this is going to be the second comer of second coming of game developer magazine which is absolutely a shame I love game developer magazine I don't think this is going to be quite um it's not going to be really for game developers. It'll be more like an introduction to game developers' focus, I think. So we're not going to see 
probably quite as much, but it would be really, really cool if Wireframe ends up redoing the post-mortem side of things. And on that topic, by the way, and this was ironically enough, the last magazine I subscribed to was Game Developer Magazine, and I absolutely loved it. But as you can see, unfortunately, in 2013, they stopped printing them. But if you have not already done so, Game of Sutra has the GDC vault, so the Game Developer Magazine vault online. So you can come in here and grab previous issues as PDF files like you see here in front of you and this is a very depressing one and it's kind of ironic because actually I was called by them to write an article uh, two months before that this actually came out so I was actually going to be featured in Game Developer Magazine or, or write an article for Game Developer Magazine and I was actually pretty happy about that because again I love this magazine or loved it uh, but then in the time that I was going to be doing the article it, it kind of got shut down so yeah that was depressing but anyways let's hope that this new Wireframe magazine is a spiritual successor to Game Developer Magazine if that is the case I am absolutely delighted it's cool to see people keeping print alive and it's even cooler to see that they're going to be making this available to game developers for free as a PDF so no matter how you look at it, win, win, and possibly some more win. Unless, of course, the magazine is complete and utter crap, in which case, well, that would be kind of depressing, to be honest. But anyways, what do you think? Are you excited about this idea? Are you going to try to be one of those first 10,000 to get the free collector's edition limited version print that's going to be sent out? Are you thinking about giving it a shot? Are you going to definitely check it out when it's available for free online? Let me know what you think down below. And more importantly, I'm actually kind of curious. Do you subscribe to any magazines anymore? Like, are, are they dead to you? And if you do still get magazines, are you in the UK? Because that's where I'm finding it thriving. The only game, the only other magazine I would probably consider subscribing to right now is Retro Gamer, and that's from Future Media, again, in the UK. The UK still seems to have a good thriving magazine market, but here in the US, it seems to all be just mass market crap, and that's about it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.